What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp extension overview for you. So in this video, I'm gonna do part two of my great extensions for house building series. So in this video, we're gonna talk about more extensions that are great for creating house models within SketchUp. Before I get started, today's video is brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Patreon, as most of you know, is the website where you can support creators that you like on YouTube. So if you like what I'm doing in this channel, maybe you're interested in supporting the show, make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. Medique Wall is a brand new extension from Nathaniel Medik that allows you to create detailed wall assemblies within SketchUp. The functionality of this extension is a lot like House Builder, but this is a much more updated and detailed extension. So this extension really focuses on modeling out framing and different things for your walls as they would be modeled in real life. So there's a ton of different options and things that you can change within your walls. In addition, openings can be moved and adjusted in real time. I've also heard rumors of a 2D to 3D modeling mode, as well as estimating and engineering features, but this extension is still in beta testing, so there's more information to come on this in the future. I'll link to more information about Medique Wall in the notes down below. Plus Spec is an extension that's more than just a house modeling extension. It's an extension designed to bring true smart modeling, or BIM, building information modeling, to SketchUp. It contains a large suite of building creation tools, as well as tools for creating things like mechanical and electrical in your drawings, as well as other tools designed for communication of notes, costs, and more. This extension is definitely a higher-end extension targeted at builders and designers, but it's a first step in bringing true building information modeling to SketchUp. Medique Truss is actually the third extension from Nathaniel Medique to make this list, which is very impressive. Um, this extension is designed to create accurate trusses within your model. This is an excellent tool for creating and showing your actual trusses. There's a ton of different truss options within this extension. Not only can you add different kinds of roof trusses, you can also add floor trusses and rafter framing with this extension. With the large number of options in this extension, you can basically model any kind of truss you want within your SketchUp models. GKWare Cabinet Maker is an extension designed to help you quickly create accurate cabinets within your SketchUp models. Basically, this extension allows you to edit every single part of your cabinets, from the exterior style all the way down to the drawers and shelves and the way the cabinets are built on the interior. This extension models the cabinets as you would actually build them, allowing for great accuracy within your model. Even if you just want to show exteriors of cabinets within kitchens or bathrooms, the amount of time you can save by using this extension to model out your cabinets instead of creating everything manually is a significant time saver. Floor Generator is an extension designed to help you create complex flooring within your models as actual geometry. This extension allows you to create shapes like brick, tile, wood flooring, siding, and other shapes within your models. This allows you to create flooring with actual depth to the different pieces of tile or wood, rather than trying to achieve that look using textures. You can also use it to apply textures to the objects that are created, which can greatly increase the realism within your model. You do have to be a little bit careful with the amount of geometry that you create, but this can definitely be a really good tool within your tool set for creating different flooring and other types of materials within your models. Make sure you check out the first half of this video as well. I'll link to that in the notes down below. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Do you agree with this list of extensions? Was there something you would have liked to see on this list? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.